Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hey everybody, we're doing a Ymir full gameplay today. Um, we're against Arachne. This is, a uh, this matchup goes to Ymir, but Arachne can make some stuff work because of her slow immunity. It really depends. She can counter alt to get out of my combo. She can, uh, take Bull Demon instantly. So Arachne can work, but she, she doesn't want to be boxing Ymir unless she can bait out my freeze. If you were playing as Arachne in this matchup, what you would want to do is you would kind of want to like, let's pretend Ymir's right there. You would kind of want to like dance around like this, trying to force out Ymir's freeze. And then the second Ymir's freeze is down, you all in him. All in him, the only thing Ymir can do is uh, respond by alting. If he alts, then uh, you counter alt and then just stay on him. And a lot of people uh, don't realize the best way to juke Ymir freeze also is to be right next to him. So once she's on me, if my freeze comes up, it's really hard to hit. Um, what I have to do is pretty much back up and then freeze her in front of me. But that can be hard to do sometimes. Also, did she DC? Pretty sure she DC, but I'm not sure yet. I saw her sidestep, I thought. Nope, never mind. <laughs> never mind, uh, we'll be right back when she comes back into this game. Alright, they just came back, so... Alright, you good, you good, you good, you good? You good? We good, we good. Alright. Remember, a gentleman always pauses for their opponent. If they DC. You don't want to be that guy that gets a lead. We we'll missed my two there. Let's aggress on to red buff. Now, Arachne... I'm a fan of playing Arachne. I might actually upload a full gameplay for her. Her early game's rough before she gets Golden Blade online, but once she gets Golden Blade, she can do some... She can do some stuff that no other god does, you know? She's she's great at boxing uh, once she has her some items. And she can take... Like I said, she can take Bull Demon almost instantly. I actually think I'll record a Arachne match right after this. And perhaps upload it the same day. We'll see. Oh, good. Uh, I think she should have aggressed on me there because I had nothing up. But at the same time, it's like, what could I take? Or, or what she, could she do? She wouldn't have killed me. She would have just gotten damage on me. That's it. I'm going to take this real quick. Getting a nice uh, little snowball going. Little snowball. She's almost level 5 as well. Once she's level 5, she can counter out me pretty effectively. Good juke. Ooh, she's not level 5 yet. Not level 5! She didn't get level 5 off those minions. I bet you she was one minion away. One or two minions away, I feel like. Oh, she put a web here. Oh, you know what happened? You know what probably happened? I think she, at the start of the game, she was placing webs here. So she take, could take blue buff. And what happened was she DC'd when she came to scout me. Like, she probably didn't even want to leave. She just wanted that blue buff. So that's a rough start if she was doing that. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're snowballing pretty hard. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. okay, okay. I like that little sidestep. She's dodging my twos pretty well. I thought that my fight, fight was going to go to me for sure. I wanted to save my abilities just in case she pulled anything sneaky, and she did. But we're still alive and in it, so that's good, that's good. She does have her Golden Blade now. The reason Golden Blade is so good on Arachne is because... As Arachne, you cannot fight into the wave because you have to hit your abilities on the enemy god. And if the enemy god is dancing in minions, you know, they she can't hit her abilities. And she just does not... She does not box well in minions. Oh, look, she's doing that little thing I was talking about, trying to juke my freeze. But I'm an experienced Ymir. I have my freeze on instant cast, but I know the range quite well. This might be worth ulting, considering her ult is down. Might have not needed it, but Ymir ult is... Ymir ult's, uh, it starts off long cooldown, but it scales down pretty fast. It's worth it. Oh, 
Right, we are getting to a scary place indeed. Yeah, I'd say Ymir is uh Ymir Ymir's gotta be one of the best guardians in Duel Man. He he is he is one of the easiest guardians. I say this as a Ymir main, okay? He is one of the easiest guardians to play, okay? Ymir is not that hard of a god. The trickiest thing with him is the auto tech counters, which is not that hard to learn, you know? Basically, once you hear the damage of your auto, that's right when you want to use an ability. Also, I'm taking this bull demon right as it spawns. Because A, she probably wouldn't expect it. And B, bull, when bull demon spawns, it has a small amount of health. And most gods, surprisingly, most gods can take it when it spawns because of how little health it has starting. But you're just susceptible to them stealing it. But since I'm so far ahead of her, I was almost certain that she was not going to come over and try and stop me. Because then I could kill her. Then I could kill her or something like that, you know. And I had my sprint ready, so... I didn't have my ult, so things actually could have gone badly, but they didn't, so we're, we're fine. Okay, when our minions get in this tower, we can take a tower because of backdoor protections being gone. Uh, backdoor protections, just so you know, it lowers your damage by 50%. So if you don't have minions in tower or phoenix when you're hitting it, you are losing a lot of damage. That's her ultimate. I'm gonna ult so she can't stun me. I didn't ult fast enough, so I didn't get the damage. Long draw. Alright, now we might want to run because we have nothing. She's more movement speed than me. Okay, right, so she went guard boots, which gives her CCR. That's a great choice and good good sidestep by her there. Thinking about sprinting, I'm not sure yet. Okay, we're good. Notice how with the wall, I waited until my slow ran out before using it. If I tried to use my wall with the slow on me, it would have just walled in my face. I would have died. You can only do that Ymir trick with at the feet if you're not slowed. You can do it without boots, but it's kind of a gamble because um, if you have high ping, then it might not work. And that's just server side issue. But with with boots, you're guaranteed to do it as long as you don't have you're not slowed. I am gonna try to turn on here her here, just because we do have Bancrofts. Yep, Bancroft's too strong, man. Bancroft's too strong. Yeah. Okay, so I think I think what we'll do is we'll actually record an Arachne game after this game. And I might, might put them both into the same video. Because I think that would be pretty fun. A Guardian and a Non-Guardian. The Double Un. Okay, so Guard Boots. Yeah, so... Or, they're, sorry, they're called Reinforced Greaves for physical characters. They are good because of the CCR. It lowers Ymir's freeze by quite a bit. I'm assuming this is going to be a Bulwark, so that's a good choice. Good choice on her. I could go Nemean, but I have a snowball, so I'm gonna go breastplate instead. Cursed Ankh and or blink. I'll get upgrade cursed Ankh. Arachne, most of her damage comes from her one. So if I pop upgrade cursed Ankh, it's actually gonna punish her. I love doing that against any character that has a built-in heal. Like against Chiron, for example, getting upgrade curse dogs great against Chiron because if he uses an ability, thought it procs a passive because of his passive that the increased healing or the healing, and then he will uh, take additional damage. Okay, we do not want her to have these spiders in the jungle, so we're just gonna clear these real quick. It's kind of important to make sure she doesn't. That way, when she's taking bull demon or if I'm taking bull demon, it doesn't slow us down. Alright, she's going over the wall, that's fine. We can take red buff. You know, her rushing the CCR I think is actually gonna keep her keep her alive for considerably for a considerable amount of time, rather than if she went straight into uh, damage. Late game this match can be interesting, but I'm pretty sure this goes to Yumir's favor. This matchup goes to Yumir's favor. But the early game kinda decides it. It depends. We can indeed pick up this red buff. So many times I can't pick up red buff because my blue buff, but that time I could. Or I just simply forget. <laughs> okay. See how fighting into minions is hard for Arachne? It's even harder without Golden Blade though. I will pop these spiders. 
That's a cool skin. I have it. It's a nice one. Do I have it? I think I do. Oh, or do I? I can't remember. I think I have the Nox skin. There's like the Nox Hades and Racky one of that set. Dang. Ymir damage. Ymir ultimate, 150% scaling. And the base scaling is insane. 1100 at max, and then plus 150% scaling. That scales hard. It scales harder than most Ymir, or most mages, mage ultimates. Which is kind of, kind of crazy. But it's such a hard ultimate to confirm too at the same time. You gotta get your opponent in a specific slot. I'm gonna go auto attack. I prefer auto attack on Ymir. We're also gonna upgrade her song. I just feel like auto attack's better for taking Phoenix, boxing your opponent, everything. The only time I like going Obsidian is if I'm against someone that, and they're going like double, triple defense. Then it's like, all right, give me Obsidian. And the stats are demonic are pretty good too. It's like how much power does it give? Gives like what ninety? No, seventy-five. That's the other. That's tall kinds. It gives ninety. Seventy-five. Like that's pretty nice. How's the? How much does Obsidian give? I know Demonic's more expensive though. Oh man, you can't. You can't shop while moving anymore. I hate it. Uh, seventy power. So Demonic gives more power. Can't shop while moving. Why would they do that? We are gonna go for Bull Demon here. The ult so that she can't stun me. Can I actually use her? I'm gonna use her spiders against her. Oh, are they, they didn't attack me? Never mind. Never mind. I tried to get the bull demon to pop it. Oh, it's a race. It's a race. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. She's not going to box me, which I'm fine with. I will back and get Demonic because without the attack speed from Demonic, taking Phoenix will be kind of difficult. Ymir, uh, Ymir and a couple other Guardians, if you take Bull Demon, they can take Phoenix without minions as long as you go on it right away. But with, with Hunter's Blessing Demonic, as long as I back immediately and it goes straight to it, I have enough time to take it with or without my minions. Preferably with because because they give me so much more damage. Yeah, it looks like she tried to stop my minions, but didn't get all of them. And backdoor protections are removed until you leave the Phoenix. So right now they're gone. If she kills the minions, backdoor protections are still gone. All the way until I leave Phoenix. So that's helpful. Nice trick with Titan. If you place your wall in a position where the Titan does not move through the wall, it can't damage you. The reason for that is that Titan can Titan can break walls only when it moves through the through the wall, okay? I had some people in my stream today that have never heard of that before. Ooh, close. But yeah, as long as the Titan's not moving, it can't break the wall. So right here it can't break it, but if I back up, it's gonna break it. Yep. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Just barely. We got a lot of Titan damage though. So now we are going to go Toxic Blade because of her healing. I could have used Curse Stonk there, but eh, it wouldn't have really mattered. I was more focusing Titan there than anything. But just some good some good tips in general, you know. I've mentioned it in previous Ymir videos, but I can't assume that everybody's watched them. It's always good to inform people of these, this stuff. Apparently on my last Fafnir video, I, I misworded myself. I didn't have Spear of the Mages, and I was trying to say... I was trying to explain the whole Spear of the Mages on Towers thing with Fafnir. And I guess I got mixed up in my brain and thought I had Spear of the Mages when I didn't. Oh my god, it was kind of like, it was kind of silly. It was kind of silly. So I didn't even have it and I was explaining it. Sometimes I'm thinking about uh, something so, so much in Smite that I confuse myself. Alright, let's take this, this Titan. I would... I prefer, in duel, I prefer to kill my opponent before killing Titan. I just feel like it gives them a better, you know, chance of coming back. Now that Titan's so weak. But, it depends. Like, if they're playing, if they're playing something like AMC, then I don't. But here we will. 
try and give them the final fight. It depends though, because if they're sitting in fountain, then it doesn't really, you can't really do that then. Want to use upgrade her stock here? Pretty sure she brocked it. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's hard to hit my freeze when she's right next to me. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Ymir's freeze. It's a cone, so when it's you're right next to him, that cone is so tiny, you have to be perfect with it. So best thing to do is like backstep or try to position them where they get farther away from you. Uh, GG, I don't think I'm going to record an Arachne gameplay real quick and stitch it onto this game, so let's do that. Well, how long was that game? I always like to show the stats before we before we end out. Sometimes people like to look at them. GG. Yeah, it's a tough one. Hey, we're diving too. Yeah, I paused for you. The game crashed. Alright, let's look at the stats real quick. Uh, the game was 15 minutes, so I'll, I'll do it as a separate video, separate video, two videos in one day. That seems best. Thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. And if you want to see any specific gods, comment it, but it just depends on which one. Right now, I'm in a mood where it's like, I just want to be playing my favorite gods. After doing the Guardian Gauntlet, I want to be playing my favorites. So, see you guys next time.